Hi, I'm Dr. Darren Gregson. I'm here to introduce you today the PAL, or Portable Audible Lifesaver device made by CPR Incorporated in the United States of America. So what is the PAL? The PAL is a CPR guidance device that gives any person the guidance and direction to perform this life-saving procedure. When you receive your PAL, it will contain everything you need to perform quality CPR. Long-lasting AA batteries, a mouth-to-face respiratory mask with biofilter to prevent disease transfer, a water-resistant full-color operating manual, and the patented water-resistant electronic PAL. Now that you have become familiar with your PAL, you're ready to practice a simulated event. Using our two volunteers, we will demonstrate performing CPR and describe each step as we go. Here's a more likely scene whereby someone in your home has a cardiac incident requiring CPR right in your own backyard. You locate the PAL, remove the PAL from its case, and turn it on. You see there are two modes on the side of the device, one with just compressions and one with compressions and breaths. We will demonstrate the latter. Listen and do exactly what your pal tells you to do. Immediately call 911 or have someone close by call 911 for help. Check for consciousness by lightly shaking and shouting at the person. When your pal directs you to place it under the victim's neck, notice the body outline and position it correctly. Note that when placed correctly, the victim probably covers up the built-in sensor and triggers the prompts to continue. Take both hands, one on top of the other with fingers interlaced, and place the heel of your bottom hand in the middle of the person's chest, and be ready to push hard and fast every time you hear press. Get ready to press. Press, 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 press. Okay, stop. Firmly grasp the face mask, place the mask over the person's mouth and nose, and press firmly onto the face. If you are unable to perform the rescue breathing, maintain continuous chest compressions during the rescue breathing parts of this procedure until professional help arrives. Now, if you're able, blow a deep rescue breath through the mouthpiece of the mask big enough to make the person's chest rise. Okay, let the person's chest fall. Okay, now repeat with a second rescue breath. If at any time during this procedure you see liquid coming from the person's mouth or observe choking, quickly remove the mask and roll the person onto their side. Get ready to press. Press, 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 press. Okay, stop. Now, if you're able, blow a deep rescue breath through the mouthpiece of the mask big enough to make the person's chest rise. Okay, let the person's chest fall. Okay. These instructions will repeat the sequences over and over until emergency first responders arrive or you turn the PAL off. The PAL should be located in an obvious, accessible area of your home or office. Notice here that the PAL is housed in an optional outdoor enclosure for pools, hot tubs, etc. Over a thousand people die from cardiac arrest every day. Twenty-five people die from drowning every day. Every moment that passes reduces a person's chances of survival by 10%. And with EMS response times averaging 13 minutes, every second counts. When life depends on it, you need a PAL.